Really interesting story coming out from James Dotson. He's a golf writer. So what does this have to do with politics? Well, you'll see in a second. He's talking to NPR's Only a Game. Now, he has co-written a book in the past with Arnold Palmer, and he's an esteemed golf writer having nothing to do with politics before. And he was talking on Friday about a remark that came during a tour of the recently renamed Trump National Golf Club Charlotte. Ah, interesting. So he explained that three years ago in 2014, this is what happened. He said, so when I got into a cart with Eric, Eric Trump, as we were setting off, I said, Eric, who's funding? I know no banks because of the recession, the Great Recession, have touched the golf course. You know, No one's funding any kind of golf construction. It's dead in the water the last four or five years. And this is what he said. He said, quote, well, we don't rely on American banks. We have all the funding we need out of Russia. Hmm. I said, really? And he said, "Oh yeah, we've got some guys that really, really love golf. I'm sure that's why they did it. And they're really invested in our programs. We just go there all the time. Well, that's very interesting. So um, this is obviously very relevant because a lot of theories revolve around how Trump had a lot of his projects financed by the Russians well before he got into the presidential race, and that perhaps he owed the Russians a lot of money. And that perhaps that could be part of the connection as to why they helped him in the race. And now that is the conclusion of our intelligence agencies and what they might have expected in return. Okay. Now, of course, the Trumps come out and furiously deny this. Shocking. Uh, Eric Trump says, ah, it's a recollection from some guy three years ago through a third person. No, no, it's not through a third person. It's the guy you talk to. And three years ago is not like 30 years ago. That's Easy, fairly easy to remember, especially when you say something memorable like, no, the Russians are financing all our golf courses. That's how we got the loans in the middle of the recession. Eric Trump then went on to say, we have zero ties to Russian investors, zero ties. In fact, back in January, Donald Trump had said something very similar. He said, Russia has never tried to use leverage over me. And then in caps, because he's a child, I have nothing to do with Russia. No deals, no loans, no nothing. It's a clown. By the way, when you write it like that, you know what's the first thing I think? Oh, This guy's got to deal with the Russians. <laughs> okay, take it easy, big guy. So now, I give you all of that because they said no deals ever with the Russians. But back in 2008, Donald Trump Jr. had said this. And in terms of high end product influx into the US, Russians make up a pretty disproportionate cross section of a lot of our assets. Say in Dubai, and certainly with our project in Soho, and anywhere in New York, we see a lot of money pouring in from Russia. From Russia with considerable love. So, which one is it? My guess is that back when they didn't think they were running for president, or they didn't know that people were gonna find out about how much money they owed the Russians, or that it was ever gonna be relevant in the public, that they were telling the truth. Why would you make up a lie in 08 about how the, you're getting all this Russian money pouring into your assets in Soho, New York, etc. Why would you randomly tell a guy that works as a golf writer about, oh no, don't worry about it, all these things are funded by the Russians, um, unless it was true. That's a super, super weird thing to make up, right? And now, uh, if you think, no, they would never lie when it is super important for them not to get caught, <laughs> then I guess you're awfully naive to say the least. So, if you're a Trump fan, hang in there, brother man. No, no, no. So, oh, oh, I'm sh which I'm sure you believe that Donald Trump Jr. back then lying about the Russians, because Donald Trump Jr. is a total liar, right? And Eric Trump, liar too, when he said that the Russians were financing the golf courses. No way, man. Those kids, they're no good liars, you know. <laughs> or you could pretend for the rest of your life that everything is fake news. No, no, even when you quote the Trumps, it's fake. But they said it, it's obvious, it's right there, right? The, the Donald Trump Jr. one is in public. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know, the world is fake. Okay, good luck to you, brother. If you borrowed this much money from the Russians, guess what? There's a record of it. Did you pay him back? How much did you owe him? This dude's gonna get caught.
Young Turks membership creates independent media. Believe me. No ads. Believe me. All the shows. Believe me. On demand. Believe me. Support independent media. Believe me. It's awesome, tremendous. You'll love it. Believe me. And by the end, you'll be thinking, you know, I'm like a smart person. TYTnetwork.com slash join.